for me personally, um, analyzing stitch um, takes five days. I'm talking about practicing overall between one and two hours a day, okay? Uh, five days, then the learning and weeding stage takes maybe another five days. And then the performance practice stage could be from two weeks up to a month, you know. Um, so if I know, it's another great thing. If you know you have actual deadline, you cannot escape. You're not anxiously guessing, am I going to make it? You will know safely that, hmm, I can make that piece. Oh, this plan is, by the way, for about four or five pages piece. So again, you know. So, mm -hmm. so for example, if it's a four or five page and you, are, you want me to play a new piece and the exam is in two months, if I practice two hours every day, I can make it safely. I will have enough time to analyze it, understand it, embody it, learn it and then practice it in front of people so I feel confident. Yeah, I can do it. But if we're talking about a sonata of 45 pages that you need to play in two months, you look at this clearly and you say, no, I cannot make it. And this is where I'm standing because I know what I can and I know what is impossible. So you simply either don't take that deadline or you don't take that big piece. Because again, you're not a prisoner, you can choose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are not a victim of not knowing, of not having any, any kind of clue of how to know if it's possible or not. And you know why we become the victim? Is of innate belief we are not good enough, which teachers made us uh -huh. believe. We will be good enough if we can make it, so we try our best. But we know we're going to fail anyway, right? And because we also don't know, we don't have a clear vision of how to prepare a piece, what are the time frame and what are the stages that we have to pass. So we have wrong expectations um, and, and wrong, wrong, wrong time zones, you know? It's very bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so you understand all three stages. If any of the stage is missing or incomplete, you should not expect positive results. You should not expect that I fully actualize myself, I fully express myself. So it has to be all complete, especially the winning stage, especially the steps of the practice performance stage. And as I said, if you just finish winning stage and you invited a friend to play at home. Don't expect to feel comfortable and 100% yourself because you jumped down and you missed one staircase, which is home rehearsal. You haven't played visualizing yourself playing in the home. By the way, that's like huge difference. I love that. I would put myself in exact dress I want to see. Mm -hmm exact color. I would always imagine this beautiful Stanley and especially the lighting. I like when the lighting goes right in the middle of the keyboard. The rest of the hall is dim the light. How big the hall, how many people and especially how silently they listen to me. So I create just like a perfect stage for myself and I go that space and then I go to the artistry. And I don't know what happens, but you play in a completely different way. That's just one step of the home rehearsal. Then you record yourself another 10 times you play. So don't skip that before you play to your friend in actual life. Mentally rehearse yourself. Again, in our mind, it was always like that. If you ask yourself, how much time do I need for a piece? We always think learning, memorizing the piece is like 90%. <laughs> yeah. Then a little bit improving it with bringing it to my teacher and then play. So 
for learning and practice performance stage, we actually do opposite. It it doesn't we doesn't even we don't even register is there. But in fact, if you look at the uh, practice journal, the first part is five days, and the learning stage and the practice performance stage takes the most time, up to a month. So what happens is that people work, you know, two weeks, three weeks on this piece. Maybe sometimes not even able to play it from the beginning to the end, not even having a one playthrough. Then they bring it to the teacher, which is, by the no. way, bringing to the teacher, bringing to the teacher. We are talking about skipping home rehearsal, home audition, going, jumping right into public audition. You hurt yourself. You jump too low. You, you have not passed the staircase. So bringing to a teacher is a big thing, unless. If you have a Zoom call with your teacher, that would be home audition. That would be the second stage. Whoa. Do you understand? When you put the right th things in the right context, then you will not expect a different result. Uh -huh. You know exactly what to expect and you will not be dis disappointed. This is amazing because actually it gives much more autonomy to the to us like uh what happens it is that we are like in my life uh i actually didn't know how to study properly so i played to my teacher in the first week i started to read the piece <laughs> and then so uh I felt like I had no autonomy of study. You have your, you know, uh, you have your work, you have your way of doing it, and you know how, what you have to do mm -hmm. to reach somewhere. Because mm -hmm. if you bring to your teaching the first week or, or the first day you you re read the piece, uh, wrote, uh, wrote, uh, learned the piece, uh, you you have no autonomy. You have no independence. You have no self mind. You have no self awareness of what you have to do. You transfer it to the to your teacher. Actually, I think this is a way of transferring to you. And then what happens then? The teacher imposes on you some ideas that are not aligned with you. He doesn't explain how exactly to do it. There's no clarity. You come home, you start applying it, and it gets worse. <laughs> because it was not translated, not explained in the right way. Then you come to the teacher again because you feel worse. It's like going to doctors. We give you the medicine, now we're going to give you another medicine to eliminate the side effects of the previous yeah. medicine, you know? So this is a very good point, what you said about the teachers. Another thing to, re to completely rewire your mind about this, teachers are there. Okay. We're not talking about the first years of playing, okay? We're talking about when you are studying in conservatory, when, when you are studying for bachelor degree, okay? Starting from there, okay? You finished your school, you're going. The teachers are there not to help you with fingering or your technique things. These things, they expect you to have already yeah. to have you and their class. You come to the teacher to only bring a fully realized, fully actualized result of what you can do. Because how many times you come to the teacher and you feel so ashamed because you know you can do better. Yeah. That's the horrible feeling. That's the most painful feeling when you come and the teacher wasn't really satisfied and you feel so horrible inside because you know you could have done better if you had a little bit more time. So the idea is to practice, uh, it's actually a good strategy. So if you want to come to your teacher, you need to know that the piece you're going to bring him, you have learned at least for two months. You went through full analysis stage, you went through full, full learning stage, reading stage, home rehearsal stage, home audition stage. So basically you perform that piece in front of other people at least 20 times. 
That, that's it, mm-hmm. right? You play three times every time you meet. That's... You meet once with your family member, three times. Another three times you meet one with your friend, let's say on the WhatsApp call. Another three times you meet with your student. I'm sure you have, everyone have, even if it's a beginner, he will be happy to hear a teacher's playing. Another three times, okay. <laughs> you play nine times. Let's say you play 10 times, okay? So you play 10 times. Then you also played 10 times before on the very first home re- rehearsal stage when you were recording yourself, right? Playing in different outfit, playing in different lighting, okay? So this piece has to be practically ready to go to the uh, public uh, audition stage. So you put that teacher not on the pedestal, you put it as a part of your practice plan. Okay, now it's um, I've done this, I've done that, all going well. Now I can move to the public um, audition stage. So now I'm playing outside of my house. I'm playing on different instrument for someone, one person. Okay, a teacher could be a good um, suggestion. It's a good opportunity. Let's use it. Okay, so you in your power, you choose to play for your teacher. Uh-huh. You're forced to. So. This is- that's why when you go it's to the revolutionary. teacher, ah, <laughs> and when you go to the teacher, what do you expect? You don't expect to uh, save him, save you. You don't ex- you don't expect him to uh, uh, give you uh, the uh, magical solution for the problems you have that can only be resolved by retraining yourself. <laughs> what you expect is this. You expect a great teamwork. You expect a great friendship, a great partnership, where you are both uh, passionate about the same idea, the same piece. Let me explain my vision of this piece. And the teacher is respectfully listening to you. Then you are uh, genuinely curious about his vision of the piece. Then you discuss it. You both inspire each other. And then on your own, it inspires you to get to a new idea you never thought about before. Great. That's what you expect. Inspiration. Not solutions to your innate problems that you have not solved. Yeah. Yeah. I've, seen, is... I've seen people being so damaged by wrong expectations. Is it really a... A revolution in my relation with the idea of teacher because it brings so much autonomy to the student is really fantastic amazing but this is a natural thing when you go in any other areas let's say we're talking about let's say I don't know martial arts or <sighs> more spiritual thing when they say originally the word teacher is someone to guide you it's not someone to tell you what's right and wrong and or fix you you're coming to the teacher to enlighten yourself to get inspired to see the way you know how it all got twisted i can only tell it's 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 because of the corruption of power and money but when you have a healthy relationship, when you have a healthy expectation and you prepared yourself well, oh, you're going to be a golden student for your teacher. <laughs> because you should yeah. also understand from a teacher perspective, he's sitting there quite tired, bored, probably very unhappy in his personal life, <laughs> thinking about next holiday, another student with his problems, And now I have to hide that actually I'm so powerless because I don't know how to help him. But I have to keep my face up because I have reputation because I work in this university. And so I keep the posture, I keep the look, I keep the voice, you know. And I keep the walk sometimes, how teachers walk along the classroom and look at the window and, you know, the whole posture, you know, it's all to trick you into thinking that they know how to help you. (laughs) They have no idea. So 
the pressure is so much on teachers and they suppress it and that makes them feel so depressed because they don't know how to help you. And the last thing they want is another helpless student who comes and they know how to help him. So they try to think, oh, maybe he's lazy. Oh, how about I'm going to tell him, I'm going to start gaslighting him. So I'm going to tell him, you have to practice more or uh, maybe you're not talented enough or um, <laughs> I don't know, maybe you're not motivated enough. Let's put you on this competition in two months. That will give you some fire. You know, they try everything, but ultimately all of this is just from a deep pain because they don't know how to help students. And now comes a student who is playing, who is not asking for any help. He is, he knows what he's doing. He's very confident about his idea, he has no problem with technique. Maybe he has something and he's just curious about my idea how I would approach it and I can share something, but he's not dependent on it. Uh -huh. So that creates a great, you're individual, I'm individual, let's work together, let's have fun. Uh -huh. They yeah. don't have to drag them from the ditch without proper tools. You know, they're not the saviors, you see, and students are not the victims.